Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Matt. Ashley. And back with another Boondocks video. This one's a special one because I don't know how we missed it. It's season one, episode nine. Luckily, all of you guys commented below and brought it to our attention that we did miss it. And we talked about it, looked it up, and yeah, we honestly missed it. So thank you guys for, for letting us know that. Um, before we get started, I'd like to give a quick shout out to Xavier, a uh, new sub. Thank you so much. And Reginald Johnson, thank you. And the dog man, thank you guys so much uh, for everything. And, and all the rest of you guys for educating us in the comments below. Um, so this one, this one should be really good because it's Return of the King. Return of the King. So, Turn of the king. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, let's let's do this. Let's do it. The same spark that lights the dark so that you can know your left from your right. I am the ballad in your box, the bullet. Oh, oh, and I wanted to tell them, this is a fun, funny fact. So, season one, episode five, YouTube decided to hit us with a 18 and over thing <clears throat> because uh, apparently in the shower... There was that that BBC scene. Oops. Oops. <laughs> we just thought it was funny and funny and, and just rolled with it. And then YouTube's algorithm was like, mm, mm, no. That thing was that thing was swanging. <laughs> you can't have that. <laughs> nope, not on YouTube. But luckily, luckily, they didn't strike us with it. So no, you know. thank you. Yeah. In the gun, the in the glow, and let you know to call your brother son. The story that just begun, the promise of what's to come, and I'm gonna remain a soldier till the war is won. Chop, 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 chop. I want young, <clears throat> I want young men and young women who are not alive today to know and see that these new privileges and opportunities did not come without somebody suffering and sacrificing for them. Okay. Very, very, very true. Is that something that Martin Luther King said? That would make sense. Let's recall. Yeah, I mean that. Called it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> wow. You put two pieces of a very simple, of a two piece puzzle together. <laughs> no, that's a, that's a great quote though. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, now for this quote, um, I'm, I feel myself turning red. Yeah, me too. Oh my gosh. My ears are red. I feel. Wow. <laughs> Not in this. <laughs> <laughs> Martin Luther King Jr. was shot in Memphis, Tennessee on April 4th, 1968. He was critically injured. Dr. King fell into a coma. The world waited for news of his fate. There were no riots. Mm -mm. Time passed. King faded into memory. There was no national holiday. Then, on October 27, 2000, 32 years after he was shot, Martin Luther King Jr. came back. King amazed the world when on November 2nd, seven days after awaking from a 30-year coma, he showed up to vote in the 2000 presidential election. He was turned away due to voting irregularities. People took to the streets to celebrate the return of their king. Oh shit, my nigga MLK! <laughs> hey, what's up, folks? Hey, that got <laughs> Look at his face. Look at his face. He, 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 I want to see his face. No, MLK's face. He's like, who is this guy oh, just? Oh, this guy. The, oh, okay. Who is like? Who is this guy just yelling at me? And this guy's yelling at MLK. <laughs> People took to the streets to celebrate the return of their king. Oh shit, my nigga MLK! <laughs> hey, what's up, <laughs> folks? Hey, that guy, the dream shit was off the chain, nigga. Okay. Hey, what's up, folks? Hey, nigga, roll. Hey, Thank nigga, you very much. Up, he learned that streets named after him weren't the very safest. King Inc. the seven figure. I, I've I've heard that. Heard that. Yep. You deal to write his autobiography called Dream Deferred. 
Columbia Pictures greenlit a $100 million biopic of Dr. King starring Cuba Gooding Jr. Oliver Stone was attached to direct. Spike Lee was pissed. King Mania was out of season pitch when on August 1st... Spike Lee was pissed. <laughs> 2001, Martin Luther King presented Video of the Year with Puffy at the MTV Video Music Awards. He said Puffy. With Puffy, well, I, wait, wait, what award? The Year with Puffy at the MTV Video Music Awards. I love you, Well, you know, Puffy, <laughs> like you, I can't stop. I won't stop. I don't even know how to stop. <laughs> Can't stop, won't stop. Uh, uh, <laughs> bad boy. <laughs> Holy shit. That was great. At the MTV Video Music Awards. I love you, MLK! Well, you know, Puffy, like you, I can't stop. I won't stop. I don't even know how to stop. <laughs> That's right, take it, take it. <laughs> and now the nominees for video of the year. King was released the week of September 21st, 2001. <laughs> One week after 9-11. Then, on October 15th, during an appearance on Politically Incorrect, <laughs> King shot the country. Great. Dr. King, okay, you're an advocate of nonviolence, but guess what? How do you think the United States should respond to the terror attacks of 9-11? Well, as a Christian, we are taught that you should love thy enemy, and if attacked, you should turn the other cheek. What? America was <laughs> like, outraged. What? The president was very concerned by some comments made by some ex-civil rights leaders. And those people in question should uh, watch their goddamn fucking mouths. Of course, an Al-Qaeda lover like Martin Luther King wants us to just roll over and let the terrorists win because he hates America. My suggestion, go take another 30-year nap, commie bastard. In December 2001, CNN named Martin Luther King one of the ten most unpatriotic Americans. His book was canned, his house was vandalized. King renamed his book Dream Deterred, and it was finally released by a small public. To Gary Coleman. <laughs> oh, it was shit. called Unimpressive by the Woodcrest Post Gazette. <laughs> okay, now. And who am I making this out to? Huey Freeman. Son of a bitch trying to take my parking spot. I should have whooped his ass. Robert Freeman? Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. I never thought I'd see you again. How you been? Well, I was shot and had a bit of a coma for a few decades. Yeah, I heard. I sent you a card. Did you get it? Well, uh, I don't remember. Oh, you remember this one. It was a get well card especially for people who got shot. And I thought this would be perfect for Martin Luther King. But they didn't sell them separately. I had to buy the whole pack. You know, I've been thinking about starting my own greeting card line. Hey, you should come over to the house for dinner. I live right down the road. Well, I believe I'm supposed to be signing books for a couple of more hours. <laughs> <laughs> Crickets. Aww. Dude, just go. <laughs> Where they got you staying? I'm staying at a Holiday Inn Express. I feel smarter already. Oh, that's nonsense. Yeah, yeah boy, yeah. cotton baboon! Ah, ah. <laughs> Dance there, you goddamn chunky cheek monkey! Ruckus, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't interfere, Robert. This head between me and Martin Luther, so called king. Only king I know of Elvis Presley, God rest his soul. <laughs> oh, oh, you don't remember me. I, I hated Elvis. I don't know. Really? I, I, I don't, yeah, I don't, I mean, I, I don't. He was the king. Okay, well, this conversation's over, because, name he three, was, name three songs. I don't know three songs, but I know that he was amazing. 
Yes. Because it wasn't in our time. I know, but I know. You know, every generation generation has their own king. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. Okay. I've been throwing bricks at your marching ass since 1959. And so, brothers and sisters, you know why. Hey, shut the hell up, you black son, bitch. What's wrong with y'all? Thank God for the white man. <laughs> it said, I love Jim Crow. My goodness, Uncle Rock. Then for that mercy, that Martin Luther King. Because if it was up to me, I'd unleash the hound and turn y'all niggas into puppy child. I was happy at the back of the bus. Ah! He said he was happy at the back of the bus. I know. I, I heard that. <laughs> I, I was like, what is wrong with this dude? But everything that's wrong with him is what makes him fucking Ruckus. hilarious. Mason Ruckus. <laughs> Just wait till I get me another brick or maybe a large rock or, you know, one of them teeny tiny little cement blocks. Why'd you have to go mess with the natural order of things? I'd have shocked you myself. But I realized the white man got better aim. Stop acting crazy. We're going back to my house for dinner. Turn the other cheek and take me with you. I'm hungry. <laughs> you know, Robert, I spoke to Sister Rosa before she passed. She said you were a prank calling her again. She was lying. She had the caller ID, Robert. You prank called Rosa Parks? She stole my thunder. <laughs> Robert, you got to let it go. What did Rosa Parks do to you? Robert was a member of the Montgomery Bus Boycott Strategic Planning Committee in 1955. He was on that bus with Sister Rosa that fateful day. No! Okay, this is it, brother. Remember, no matter what they do, nobody gives up their seat. You dig? We shall not be moved. Mm Mm-hmm. Y'all can go head on to the back. We's moving, Mr. Boss, man. We's moving. <laughs> Lord, I sure do wish these here beasts could move faster for you, move, Mr. Boss. Move, boy. <laughs> Have some roller skates on. I can get back there real quick. This here boy enough no. for you, Mr. Boss, man. I can press myself up against the cold glass window. This good? It's you. Go ahead to the back. No. I am not going to move. Uh, uh, uh Mr. Bus Driver, sir, she she, she ain't move. <laughs> <laughs> Made her like sound like Scooby Doo looking shit. How dare you refuse to give up your seat, woman? What are you, some kind of history making crusader for justice? Yes. We are. You think you're gonna change history on your own? Is that it, woman? All by yourself? That lady sure has courage. Hey, hey, what, what about me? I got courage. You want me to the hey, can someone get me the sheriff? I got a colored woman here who don't want to give up her seat. Stay strong, She's Sister so Rosa. Brave. We love you forever. That's right. Take us to jail. We're not afraid. Stay out of trouble. <laughs> He's like, Robert, you didn't. They laid her in state. They ain't gonna lay my black ass in state. They gonna lay me at the Johnson fucking mortuary down the damn street. Mm. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> well, anyway, Dr. King, I just wanted to say that even though you've been catching a lot of flack recently, we're very honored to meet you. Really? Get off his dick. Ow! <laughs> you about to see you Dr. King like a rodeo show? Ow! Stop it! <laughs> you don't look famous. What are you? An actor? Is you Morgan Freeman? Ow! Boy, stop acting crazy. <laughs> you know that's my the King. Now go clear the dishes. Why can't this Morgan Freeman King do clear the dishes? Shoot! The nigga just had a free meal. Riley, come here. <laughs> Get over here. No! How can no. you... I seriously love Riley. He, I really do. He is ruthless. He he is so gangster, and I think it's hilarious. Yeah, 
<laughs> and, and Huey, like I was, just, I was just talking with somebody. Huey is uh, the complete opposite. Yeah, yeah, and he's more uh, eloquent in how he how he handles himself. You know, he speaks better and right. more, you know, not not so not so gangster in your face. <laughs> Wait a minute, rewind it. Uh. <laughs> Alright, this is the gear eater. Whitney Houston in court again. What? Oh no. <laughs> mm. Mm. What happened, Huey? What happened to our people? I think everyone was waiting for Martin Luther King to come back. The Martin Luther King they're waiting for, Huey, is gone forever. That's sad. Dr. King? Dr. King, it's time to get up. You got an interview today. I'm not going. I quit. Dr. King! I don't wanna. <laughs> <laughs> He's acting like a child. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., you get out of that room and continue to fight for freedom and justice this instant. Come on. Think about it, Dr. King. You missed out on four decades of media evolution. Oh, God. Sorry, Mr. White Man. <laughs> what the people need is the truth, and not the pretty truth. He was sitting in a. Sh he's sitting in a. Going by, throwing hucking bricks at people, just in a shopping. Oh, he said, "Sorry, White Man." Oh, God. Fucking right. Sorry, Mr. White Man. <laughs> What the people need is the truth, and not the pretty truth. The horrible, awful, terrible truth that hurts people's feelings. The truth that makes people get angry and get up and do something. Huey, I just don't think I belong in this new world. I don't know if I need the 20 gig iPod or the 40 gig. I tried to download some Mahalia Jackson. But I lost my iTunes password. <laughs> I really should have a. Pr it's Gandhi himself and um, Einstein. Einstein. All with AirPods. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even notice that. <laughs> over this kind of thing. A political party. Not just any political party. A black revolutionary political party. But why me? You should ask Oprah to do it. She's more popular than if you ask me, a darn pretty lady. Oh, snap. No, they didn't. A boneless rib sandwich. What will they think of next? <laughs> I know I shouldn't eat these, but they're for a limited time only. <laughs> I really should have approvals over this kind of thing. And so the philosophy of this new political party might be considered extremely leftist by some. Do you love America? Um, sorry? You sure as hell are, buddy. Why can't liberals ever answer that question with a simple yes, huh? If you ask me if I love America, I say yes. Why can't you say yes? Say you love America right now. Say it. The party's basic philosophy is... Say it! Sir, I will not be... Say it or shut up! We'll be back with more fair and balanced coverage. <laughs> 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 I thought that went well. You know, Huey, those of us who do adhere to the philosophy of nonviolence frown upon the throwing of furniture to resolve our political differences. Where do people go for information before cable news? We can do it like we did back in the day. 
We'll go into the streets and tell the people. Yeah, I wish the president would stop lying. Black babies would stop crying. And young brothers would stop dying. I wish the police would stop killing. Politicians stop stealing and acting like they're not dealing. When they know they got bricks in the street at the country club fixing it. Ah! <laughs> What up, y'all? You got it locked on WFRK, the freak. That was my main man, Gangstalicious, with Thug and Love. We're going. <laughs> Gangstalicious. Gangstalicious. To the phones. WFRK. Hello? Am I calling back then? You sure are. And you know what that means? What? It means you're going to the Martin Luther King Emergency Action Party! Oh! Oh my God! Helping you shake your stinking ass with Martin Luther King. WFRK, the freak! Dr. <laughs> King, why are they giving away tickets to our emergency action planning meeting on 95.5 WFRK, the freak? Well, Huey, I thought about what you said about not having enough experience with modern media. So I hired an urban promotions firm to help get the word out. Uh oh. <laughs> Was that bad? You <laughs> are you sure we're in the right place? Excuse me, bro. What's up? My name is. I'll tell you right now, y'all ain't getting in without no free man. What? Sir, we need to get in, cause I'll I- I'll tell you right now, you ain't getting in with those shoes. What's wrong with my shoes? Excuse me, sir, I'm Martin Luther King, not Malcolm X, nigga. You still ain't getting in here with them shoes. Sir, Young man, please? I, mm, 50 bucks. What? 50 bucks each. You want to get in or not? <laughs> I'll tell you right now, you ain't getting back here without a wristband. A what? A wristband. This is Martin Luther King. I'm surprised they let you in here with those shoes. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, it's, it's only right if you recognize all the kings. You know what I'm saying? The kings of comedy, the king of rap, Rodney King, the king of beer, King Kong, Don King. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga was dead. Okay, we all got to stop and get back to my nigga go. Was she the woman at the at the airlines from the first episode of season two? Remember, she was freaking out. Oh, the flight attendant. She not the flight attendant. She was at the ticket thing before they boarded. And what was so funny that I noticed from watching it again was the airlines was in WA. <laughs> Um, God. It was? Yeah, N NWA? Yeah, I know what NWA uh, okay. is. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but it was just funny how that was the airline to me. It just said behind I didn't me. even notice that. I know. It, it was just another little Easter egg that I like of the show. Easter egg. <clears throat> Thank you, white Jesus, for making all this positive black shit possible. Amen. Okay, <laughs> let's keep this motherfucker moving. <laughs> While we waited, the first black political oh. party was everything you expected it would be. There were the hustler preachers. And that's why you have to go buy my new book. So God can help you lose weight and get a husband with the benefits. The rapper truce. Oh, yeah. Uh, and there was also the inevitable. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, security, come get these ghetto ass niggas. I'm surprised nobody's in the packs like, world star, world star. <laughs> <laughs> this was 2005. Excuse me, brothers and sisters, please. If someone could just turn off. King looked out on his people and saw they were in great need. So he did what all great leaders do. He told them the truth. Will you ignorant niggas please shut the hell up? <gasps> 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 
He just said what I think he said. Is this it? <laughs> this is what I got all those ass whoopings for. I had a dream once. It was a dream that little black boys and little black girls would drink from the river of prosperity, freed from the thirst of oppression. But lo and behold, some four decades later, what have I found? But a bunch of trifling, shiftless, good-for-nothing niggas. And I know some of you don't want to hear me say that word. It's the ugliest word in the English language. But that's what I see now, niggas. And you don't want to be a nigger. Cause niggas are living contradictions. Niggas are full of unfulfilled ambitions. Niggas what? Yo, this has to be why all of the viewers wanted us to watch this. Because I am burning up red blushing. I'm, yes, I am dumbfounded. This is, it. This is like, so it crazy. It is like every single word. This is nuts. That it is that word. This is why you guys want us to watch it, isn't it? Okay. All right. All right. We'll keep going. Yeah. Sin Wayne, niggas love to complain. Niggas love to hear themselves talk but hate to explain. Niggas love being another man's judge and jury. Niggas procrastinate until it's time to worry. Niggas love to be late. Niggas hate to hurry. Black entertainment television is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Usher, Michael Jackson is not a genre of music. And now I'd like to talk about soul playing. <laughs> I've seen what's around Look the corner. Look at their faces. I've seen what's over the horizon. And I promise you, you niggas have nothing to celebrate. And no, I won't get there with you. I'm going to Canada. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Canada. I'm going to Canada. Thank you, Huey. Thank you, Dr. King. Do what you can. That was the last time I saw Dr. King. But the story doesn't end there. King's speech was replayed the entire next day on the cable news channel. Oh. Then, something unexpected happened. Yeah, he said it was like the ugliest word in the English language. And he used it like every other word. Like 20 freaking times after I, that. We should have counted. Oh gosh, I'm not listening to that again. <laughs> Angry. Nobody knows exactly what to attribute to the sharp decline in African-American dropout rates. That is every African-American player in the NBA refusing to play until there is a full troop withdrawal. Billionaire from... Bob Johnson apologizing to black America for the network he founded. The White House and Congress are receiving an unprecedented amount of calls from irate African-Americans. And the revolution <laughs> finally came. The mob is refusing to disrupt. The president is urging everyone to stay calm and obey the curfew. You're horrible! We repeat. It's fun to dream. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Ah. So Oprah, Oprah got elected president. Mm. That's funny. In 2020. In 20. Wow. Wait. Yeah. In 2020. In 2020. But how's U.S. Times? I don't. They said it was like 2016. Uh, they did when he first like woke from oh. his coma. So that would make it 2020. Okay. I, 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 I might have to explain that a little more to me, but I'm sure they'll help. I'm sure they will. <laughs> but uh, either way, great episode. Thank you guys so much for, for really hitting us up in the comments to watch this because yes. that was that was great. And uh, Except for the F-bomb. The f bombs. It was the n bomb from MLK I, himself. Yeah, I, I can't. <laughs> I'm still speechless Jeez. about it. <laughs> but funny nonetheless. So uh, we will see you guys in the next one. Leave us some comments, like, share, subscribe. Thank you guys as always. And yeah, well goodbye. Bye. <laughs>